So this is what the finished shoe looks like. Very nice. I got these flip-flops from Walmart and we're gonna alter them so they look more like Gator shoes. So something like this. So first you're gonna wanna measure the length of your foot strap. So I already measured this on mine and it's 11 inches. I'm gonna add another inch because we have to fold the ends in. So pretty much this is how the pattern works. So it, it's like a rectangle. For me this was 12 by uh, 4.5. It's gonna depend on how wide your uh, strap base is and you want to be able to fold it over here with some space to spare. So like that. So you basically want to iron the ends into triangle pieces. Okay, I've sewn the triangle parts down and now I'm going to iron it. We also want to fold these parts in and iron it too. So I got some polyfill here that I'm stretching out so I can fit it on this. So you gotta make sure you can still close this around it fine. And we actually have to put this around the shoe. So we're gonna wanna pin this around. Like that. Okay, so I'm almost done pinning everything. So here you can like stuff more polyfill in so to make sure you get that poofiness. Feel free to take out a pin and like stuff more polyfill in. To make sure this uh, holds in place, I also stick a pin at the very end over here so like um this okay yeah and then you want to make sure they're about the same roundness and then we're going to hand sew this we're going to do a ladder stitch I'm gonna go ahead and do a back stitch, back stitch over here. Okay, I just back stitched over here. You can see it over there. And now we're going to ladder stitch this seam over here. I'm gonna go in this right seam first. Over here, you can see my stitches. I know if you do this really well, you pretty much wouldn't be able to see them at all. I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, ladder stitching the rest of this. Okay, I just finished hand sewing the long band on. Now we're going to measure how much we need for this little strap over here. Now I'm going to hold the one at the end and loop around. So it's important to do this after you sew on the main part because how much you need is going to depend on how much polyfuel you added. So this is exactly... Six inches, so I'm gonna add uh, probably like another inch or maybe one and a half inches, so I have enough space to uh, fold in the ends. So now we're gonna cut seven and a half by two. 
Okay, now I'm going to iron the ends and then fold it over and iron this. And now we're going to sew the middle part of the shoe. So we're going to do a ladder stitch here and there. So I made my thread really long because we're gonna have to loop around here and but it probably is a bad idea to just make it shorter. Now I'm gonna go through the end here and come out on the other side. So now I'm going to double back and add some loops over there. When I'm going to do this, I'm just going to go straight into this uh, the top piece of fabric. Come out, come out like over here. And now we are just going to wrap around this a few times. Make sure we are wrapping kind of straight. And then I'm going to make a stitch here I'm going to close it over here let's take a piece of fabric and then I like to make a loop around this is how I close all my hand stitches and do it twice for double security. Okay, and this shoe is done. So this is what the finished shoe looks like. Very nice. Ta -da.